today's video we're going to be looking at the uh, N16 Almira that my mother-in-law owns. Now she's had the car for quite a long time and the car has actually been in the family since, well, since it was about sort of two years old. So one of the problems that we have cosmetically in the interior is we have a driver's seat that has a big rip on one of the bolsters. Now I was originally going to uh, go to the scrapyard and actually remove the whole of a um, of a driver's seat that I found in a similar N16 Almira. I think this one was an active rather than twister, but the seat fabric is the same on those special edition models. But what I actually found was on this particular version of Almira, you can actually unzip the uh, the cover. There is a metal uh, frame which is actually sort of embedded into the seat foam, which you do have to pull out, as you can see here. Um, and what I'll probably be doing with the uh, when replacing it is actually cutting uh, the old piece of fabric off and um, probably cable tying that uh, metal frame to the metal frame that's going to be left in the uh, the seat back foam. So I actually removed it and because uh, it's been out in the open or rather in a car that's been out in a scrapyard for some time it's got a lot of mould on it and I was trying to think of the best way of um, actually cleaning it so in the end I actually just resorted to chucking it into the washing machine which did the job but it did leave me with um, a few areas where the actual um, thread, uh, the actual sort of stitch at, uh, came away and uh, left me with a few areas that were a bit ripped. So thankfully my mother came to the rescue and uh, she does enjoy a, a good bit of sewing so she was tasked with the job of sewing up certain areas of the um certain areas of the uh, the seat cover itself and uh that now means that I've got a seat cover that uh, is uh, ready to go thankfully the seat cover hasn't actually shrunk um i did a little bit of uh, very inaccurate reasoning and calculations and thought i'm not going to do it on a 90 degree wash because that's too hot but if this car was in the um, middle of Africa, for example, or uh, in one of Nissan's very hot markets, I don't know, let's say, I don't know, Texas, for example, say the Nissan Versa or whatever the version of the Almira is over there, whichever version uses the same platform. I think it's a Versa, I'm not sure. There was a mid-range Nissan that looked a little bit like the Almira inside, the N16 Almira and shared the same platform but was manufactured for the US market. I digress. So I would, I thought, well how hot would it get inside a car? Probably very hot if it's left out in the open sun. So in that case it should be fine on a 60 degree wash. A delicate 60 degree wash for synthetics. Transpires it was actually. The only thing that's happened is um, the uh, the fabric has, uh, as you can see here, is sort of uh, some of the stitching has come away, and a lot of the stitching is actually sort of bunched up, as you can see here, which I think was actually just excess stitching from the original manufacturing process, and you can also see here that it had actually torn a load of stitching on that particular point there, so that was one of the areas that I uh, had repaired, and uh, I also had uh, one of the plastic locating. Um, clips which sort of a big long piece of plastic down the bottom that sits under um, the foam bolts the, the foam itself so it sits underneath the foam at the front um, that was repaired as well you can see that there is a little bit of mold left on the um, the pocket but that is something that I'll hopefully be able to remove with a bit of scrubbing and here it is again with the uh, items that I was pointing out earlier repaired. So we've got the uh, the clip here, plastic locating clip is repaired. So this one down the bottom, sort of securely put on there. It's in an out of sight area so it's not going to matter too much about the quality of the stitching. I'm more concerned with uh, the sturdiness of the stitching. What I also did, um, although strictly you don't need to, was um, at the top where the uh, the head restraints go through. I um, had my mother just apply some stitching there. These are actually covered up with some plastic items but uh, it just sort of makes it a bit stronger. 
So the further parts of this project will be upcoming. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more fascinating upcoming hobbies. Thanks for watching.